Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm on the North Kent coast at Reculver and I'm here to shoot these towers. It's a bit of a, a landmark around here. Um, I know it quite well from years gone by and I've never really photographed it. So it's in the middle of the day. It's quite windy as you can probably tell. And I thought I'd try some uh, black and white long exposures to, uh, to try and make the most of the, of the coast. Uh, the beaches um, and just the features around here and make uh, Reculver Towers the, uh, the main focal point of the pictures. So that's the plan. Let's get down onto the beach and see what we can find. So there's the uh, Reculver Towers over there. Uh, just walking along this promenade walkway along here, along the beach. The tide is out. And I'm thinking there's some rocks down here. Uh, maybe try and use some of those as a bit of foreground if I can get down there. So, uh, like I said, I'm planning to do a bit of black and white long exposure photography um, and see if I can come up with something interesting, sort of something fairly minimalist. Uh, don't know how contrasty yet, but it's something I've got in mind. So uh, I've got a three stop and a 10 stop uh, ND filter with me so I can smooth out the sea, maybe get a bit of blur and movement in the clouds and uh, just see kind of see what we can find. All right, so I've got to be a little bit careful here because I don't want to walk on anything that is going to ruin my shot. It looks like someone's already been walking here before. So some uh, footprints and dog footprints. So I'm just going to be very careful and mindful about where I'm going to be walking uh, so as to not potentially ruin a shot with my foreground and my footprints. So I'm just going to cross over here. So there's more footprints here. So I'm just looking for a nice bit of foreground, uh, some stones or some water patterns in the sand. So I can use my foreground leading up to the towers over there. Okay, so I think I've got a bit of foreground interest here. It's quite wet sand around, uh, kind of sinking a little bit. So the tripod's sinking a bit too. Hopefully we can get something here before, the, uh, before there's too much camera movement. Um, so I've got a few stones and uh, rocks in the foreground with moss and seaweed all over them. I'm gonna probably do a, get the camera out maybe look at some kind of vertical format uh, image. I use the 24 to 105 lens for this. It's probably the best option. Let's have a quick dummy run without the tripod just to see what sort of look I can get from here. So at the moment I'm just trying to come up with a, uh, a composition and kind of juggle the position of the camera and the zoom um, just to kind of get in a rough position to get the image that I'm looking for. Okay, I quite like that kind of idea. So I'm shooting in a, in a four by three vertical format and I've kind of got a bit of a leading line from the bottom right corner, just a small kind of uh, trickle of water that leads down through past the rock. Uh, I've got this big rock down here in the foreground uh, with the seaweed and the moss on it and uh, leading off to uh, recover towers themselves in kind of the top right uh, rule of third um, cross crossing point. So I think I'm going to get the camera set up on the tripod 
uh, recreate that composition, get it nice and dialed in, nice and accurate, and uh, and start shooting. And then we'll get the uh, ND grad on and try and get a bit of uh, calmness in the water and hopefully a bit of motion in the cloud. Uh, let's go to manual focus, stabiliser off. And I'm on around about 30, just past 35 millimetres. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit because I've got a bit of distraction in the bottom right hand corner. So I just want that uninterrupted little trickle of water. And that looks good to me. So looking at my focusing point, I've got my focus peaking switched on and it looks like the towers are in focus. All the rocks in the mid ground and the rock in the front is nicely in focus as well. So let's take a shot there and uh, see what, what it looks like. Let's put my uh, two second timer on and try that. Yep, okay, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is just change my preview over to black and white, which is the monochrome picture style on a Canon. Just going to take another shot, see what that looks like. Good, okay, so the sky is a little bit overexposed as, it, as expected, so I'm just going to underexpose by two thirds of a stop. And what does that give us? Right, there looks like, just by going, flicking back through a couple of frames, it looks like there's a fair bit of movement in the cloud over a short space of time. And it looks like the wind is on my back. So the clouds are going away from, so I should get some nice streaky lines going away from the camera. Uh, and hopefully it might look like some leading lines in the sky leading down to the towers uh, by the time I do a long exposure. So that's quite promising. Um, so I've got 15th of a second F11 at ISO 100. So I'm going to get the, uh, the filter ring out and put the ND grad on. Right, so this is the Lee Big Stopper. It's a 10 stop neutral density filter. And you can't really see through it at all. So put that into the filter holder, closest slot to the lens itself. Make sure the foam is covering the filter holder so there's no light leakage and I've not moved anything on my lens. So um, it's 10 stops from a 15th of a second. So I've got a cheat sheet here. So the big stopper, 15th of a second means 10 stops is going to be one minute. So that's slightly annoying, which means I've got to remove the camera try not to move anything and to use my bulb I need to use my shutter release because I need to go for more than 30 seconds so I've just got to remove the cover on the bulb port I used to use a shutter release all the time but since I made the swap to a, an L bracket I've been using the two second timer a hell of a lot more and it is a bit more convenient I've got to say. Right, shutter release is in. Right, make sure I've not moved anything, just recheck my exposure. Uh, F11 bulb, ISO 100. Focus is still correct. Everything's locked down. Tripod hasn't moved, I don't think. Right, bulb. So one minute, ISO 100. Let's try this. So 
So on my top display on the camera, I've got, a, on a, got it on a timer. So I can actually see the clock counting up to a minute. sun's come out a little bit so I might just stop it at 50 seconds just to make sure I don't blow out the sky Forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. 48 49 50 all right the breeze has picked up so I hope the camera's not been moving around too much okay got a nice bit of movement in the sky now quite like that everything's nice and sharp as far as I can tell just check my histogram yeah it probably could go for a minute so let's try another one in fact what I'm going to do this time I'm going to take you off the tripod just to make sure you're not shaking the camera around because it is moving around a bit. So. So we go, shutter release. F11, gonna go for a minute this time. Just looking on the top display here for a minute and then I can stop the exposure. Fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Okay, so let's try that. Play that back. Uh, histogram looks pretty good and that's what we've got so I've got a nice bit of movement and softness in the sky the sea is smooth and milky at the shoreline everything's in focus down here nice and sharp Right, there we go. So I think I think I'm happy with that. So it's uh, time to see if we can find something else. So just to show you a bit of a close-up of what I was trying to achieve, I was just trying to get this rock out of uh, out of the shot here. Just get the corner of the frame to capture this, and uh, with this kind of a lead-in line from the bottom right of the corner, kind of like it is now, uh, with these rocks in the foreground leading up to Recover Towers. So time to move on, see what else we can find. Okay, so I've just found this uh, next composition. I'm just doing this very quickly because my, uh, my boots are in the water. So I'm just trying to get uh, these stones here and these rocks as a leading line up to the, uh, the towers. Um, it's a very similar composition as before. So this kind of line of rocks along the shore, uh, kind of acting as a bit of a leading line. Uh, I'm going for another one minute exposure using the same exposure as before, because that seemed to work. Um, and I'm just gonna try and, try and get this one in before my feet get too wet. Quick check that one. All right, that's quite good. I'm pleased with that. So that's where I stood just in here, in this bit, shooting along there, um, along that way, up to the towers. Okay, so this is the next uh, composition I've come up with. Um, it's just a little walk along the beach. It's hardly another composition, really. It's just. Uh, something very similar but um, it's just a question of 
carefully positioning these rocks in the frame so that you haven't got one uh, right on the border on the edge of the frame as a, and it acts as a bit of a distraction. So they've been carefully positioned, uh, I think, and um, I've zoomed out slightly as well just to make sure I can get everything in and I'm quite pleased with that. So that's another one. Uh, I've just taken a shot with you on the tripod but uh, the wind is blowing you around a bit. So what I'm gonna do is just take another one now and hopefully the camera will be a little bit steadier without the, the wind buffeting the tripod. Um, I'm right on the shoreline here as you can see. So I'm kind of getting, uh, getting my feet a bit wet. And the tripod is probably slowly sinking into the sand, so I kind of got to be a little bit careful as I go along. But uh, that's that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go for 48 seconds on this one, and uh, that seems to be the good kind of exposure time at the moment. Um, and I can't can't stay here for too much longer because my boots are in the water. Forty-eight seconds. Quick check of the histogram. As good as can be, I think. So let's get out of here. Okay, so a little bit, a uh, little bit rushed at the end there uh, before. My feet and my tripod ended up in the water uh, too badly or sinking into the sand. So I uh, hope you found that useful. I'll put the pictures up very shortly for you to see. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you can join me on the next video. Take care. See you then. Bye for now.